Libra Nation. Let's do the weekly tea, shall we? Let's take a look at the week um, at a glance overview from the 6th through the 11th. We're going to go Monday through Saturday. We're going to leave Sunday up to you. No prediction for Sunday. Sunday, you can make your own luck, your own destiny. I just did Monday through Saturday. This is good for the sun, rising moon, and Venus sign of Libra. And hopefully it will resonate with you. Your love messages are up. Your July forecast is up on Soma Chandra. If you're new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, and hit the bell so you know when I read for your sign. Please keep in mind this is a general message, but hopefully this message is for you because Libra, this looks amazing. First of all, pieces of advice from the tarot, power, strength, Leo energy. This will be a week that you will need to be courageous, calm, persuasive. You will need to be diplomatic. What do I always say about strength? It's where we are the human resources department in our own life. So this week you will be called upon to have strength of character for sure. Um, so it might be a week that does take strength for you. Make sure you're calm. Make sure you're diplomatic. Make sure you tame raw pride, emotion, desire, things that do not serve you. You will have to be the gentling influence in probably more than one situation this week. I also notice at the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Pentacles, yo, prosperity begins very much so. Planting seeds, new financial and career opportunities, starting new cycles in your life this week that will manifest into the abundance. The pentacle is the thing, Libra. Expect results, expect it to happen and manifest into the 3D. If it does not, this could also be an object as well. If it doesn't manifest into the 3D, don't buy it and stand in your power. That's your advice from the tarot. I absolutely loved, I decided to use the I Am Everything Oracle deck and two amazing messages flipped out for you. And I can see it in the cards here. I am transformed. I see the beauty of change. Everything I have been through transformed me into who I am today. I am so much braver. I am so much more caring. I am so much more emotionally intelligent. I am so much more open. I will continue changing and improving improving. I am transformed. Really now, Libra, really standing in your power, you'll be tested this week with this transformation. And I am bold came out. I speak my truth in a loving way. My courage to communicate my needs is powered by my love for myself and my love for others. I am bold. This week, you will feel transformation. You will feel bold, clearly with standing in your power that came in the upright for you. Um, you might have a situation this week that looks like this, Libra. Look at this. Look at this bullshit. What is this? Um, excuse me. Excuse me. I excuse me. That's mine. Wh where are you going? Wh where are you going with that? That's mine. You. This might be why strength comes out. I think that you will be dealing with a little bit of bullshit this week. I think you're going to need to be on your toes. You will need to be bold. You will need to be, um, you will need to have strength of character. You will need to stand in your power. Now the queen of swords can be a little bitchy sometimes. Looks like you might have the right to be. So for whatever reason, they're telling you to be diplomatic and remember your transformations when you deal with other people in your life that look like this. It might be something like, oh, sorry. This may be one of your kids taking the credit card out of the wallet, something like that. Somebody coming in, hey, watch out. This person is being strategic, okay? This is a person that will come into your life this week that acts upon their own behalf. I think this is how you'll handle it. Or for my masculine Libras, even for my other feminine Libras, you might come across another person that you think is discerning and you think is intelligent, and they might have this little emotion of something for you. Just be careful. This will be a week where you kind of need to flip the script, I think, and stay ahead of everybody else. The Seven of Swords is about flexibility and adaptability. It's not show friends. It's show business, okay? You're going to need to be on your toes this week, and you might need to tread lightly in a situation and use a lot of discernment and have very clear boundaries and interject just a little bit of emotion. But I think this is a person around you. And I was like, who is this idiot messing with an air sign? Okay, even my masculine Libras can do this. Like, do you see my sword? Please, I see that happening. Here's the Ace of Pentacles again. Oh, what is this? What is this? Is this a King of Wands that walked away prior to this? Mm-hmm, I don't know. I wouldn't offer anybody anything, whoever this King of Wands is. It could be a Leo around you. 
they might walk away and get all stressed out. That King of Wands won't show it, though. Whatever. We're not doing tarot. We're just doing overall energy. Monday. Three of Cups to the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. This is friendship. This is collaborations. This is healing and celebrations and happiness. Wear your masks. Wear your mask. You might be hanging out with friends. You might be talking to a lot of people. I love the Five of Pentacles in reverse. It's getting from out of the red into the black. It is kind of a break even card, making slow and steady progress in a situation, freeing yourself from a negative relationship cycle. If this is about a dating situation or a relationship, it doesn't matter really what it's about. It looks good. It's a, I almost get the feeling that it's like getting into a better emotional place creatively and being able to feel a little bit more social and getting away from relationships and situations that just suck the life out of you with like the five of pentacles is a lacking mindset and even financial loss and poverty and just isolation and worry. I think you're going to be freeing yourself from cycles like that. You might even find like a career financial or job opportunity that really helps you out in a group of friends. I, who cares? This is a beautiful card combination. Tuesday's interesting. Two major arcana, hangman in reverse to the Hierophant, this guy. Hey, Hierophant, driving me crazy, showing up in all of my readings, kind of making me reponder the meaning all over again. Sorry, been having a little thing with the Hierophant lately. Honestly, what I see here for you, Libra, is gaining a lot of wisdom in a situation. Some of you might go to a bank, a school, a big company, a major university, something like that. This could also be someone... The Hierophant is where we teach and lead others in a very spiritual communal way, or you guys may decide you can't get unhung up, like you're so hung up in a situation and you can't see it from a different point of view and it starts to drive you crazy. You guys might go seek the help of a guide or a mentor, but the five, uh, you know, the five in the major arcana is about conflict and loss and change and in you know, the major arcana, it is the Hierophant. And this is about learning lessons of wisdom. This is about family. This is about equal contribution from everyone in our society, feeling part of that, playing by the rules to a degree. So I do see you playing by the rules, possibly, on Tuesday. You might be freeing yourself from a situation you were hung up in, but I think you might have a hard time making a sacrifice in a situation. This is Pisces. This is Taurus. You might feel stuck playing by the rules and not being able to make a sacrifice in a situation, not being able to just have that enlightenment or take a new point of view. So whatever the situation is about, get by with a little help from your friends. You know, you might seek the guidance of someone that can help you with that in some way. Wednesday, this also looks beautiful. Five of swords in reverse to the seven of cups. So I'm seeing two fives in reverse here for you, Libra which I like. This is freeing yourself from cycles where you feel isolated and worried, left out in the cold. The five of swords in reverse is about making amends or letting go and reconciling. It's like a live and let live. You know, I'm always saying with conflict and defeat, what do I say? If you win, don't gloat. If you lose, lick your wounds, go home. This is about with choose wisely here. This is the seven of cups. Someone might come in or you might think about reconciling a situation, letting go of it and making amends with someone, or they might be that way with you. It might confuse you a little bit. Um, their only advice is choose wisely. You don't need to be confused. You just have many choices in front of you. I see you letting go of something and having it bring a lot of wisdom into your life about the choices that you make. I think you kind of give up on a situation that you've been hung up about Thursday What's going on here? Light, material and spiritual prosperity. This is the six of pentacles and this is the sun. So more Leo energy here. A lot of clarity, a breath of fresh air, happiness. You guys might be at the beach. You might be outside. Wear your sunscreen. I mean, she looks great and all, but you know she's going to get burned a little bit later. This will be seeing something out in the cold, hard light of day. It will bring a breath of fresh air. It will bring a lot of vitality and it will bring a lot of clarity. I think you may start to, I see you guys letting go of something and moving towards, you might either realize you're kind of in more of a casual situation than you were, but I think it'll give you some wisdom possibly. 
like you might see that something was kind of one sided, but you're like, whatever, it wasn't good for me anyways. I do have great friends. I do have a lot of creative and rejoicing celebration coming in this week. I think you'll have a lot of clarity in a situation, but Thursday will be a day that you need to take care of yourself because the Six of Pentacles gives a lot to other people. It's very charitable. It's very generous. You might see very clearly in a situation on Thursday that you've been too giving or you've been giving with strings attached or that you might even be gullible in a situation or something is very one sided. It's and you might even be forced to see some unpaid debts in some way. It's time to take care of yourself. Look at unpaid debts. Look at one sided giving and receiving in your relationships. I think that will be something will come to light about that on Thursday, Friday. This is my favorite part that this is almost as good as the Queen of Swords with the Seven of Swords. The excuse me moment. I was like, this is even better than that. Eight of Cups to the Three of Swords in reverse, walking away from something. They do call it emotional withdrawal here, but this is the Eight of Cups. We walk away and we don't look back. Yes, we're disappointed. We must withdraw. We must escape. We have to abandon a project. We walk away. We don't know where we're going. Some of you will be sitting by the beach praying. But what you're doing is healing your heart. I'm seeing with these two fives in reverse, making wise choices, gaining wisdom, and realizing something's been a little one-sided and there's been, I think there's a reason why you haven't been able to make sacrifices in a certain situation and why you're called to be bold and strong and remember to be transformed. It's because something better is coming in for you, much better. And in order for that ace of pentacle to come in, you have to walk away from something and let go of heartache and loss. Walking all the way away from something on Thursday or, or on Friday and healing a broken heart. This is forgiveness. I do have two cards of forgiveness and a healing conversation possibly, but I don't know if what's going to happen in your environment. We'll look at that. I think that's really beautiful. Friday, three of pentacles in reverse and the chariot in reverse. So I see three threes here. Some of you have been in some triangulations of some kind even with yourself, I think you're going to feel the need to work alone on Saturday. And I don't know that you'll be going anywhere either with this chariot in reverse. I don't know that on Saturday you'll feel like you're really driven towards exactly where you want to go. I think it's because you're working in a dynamic that might have some disharmony and lacking in commitment, some apathy, some third party situations. There will not be teamwork. There will not be collaboration. There will not be learning and implementing on Saturday, I think you decide to work alone and stay in with the chariot in reverse. Um, I think you might feel a little powerless in a situation because you're not getting a lot of cooperation. That's just the day, you know, this week hasn't unfolded yet. You might just feel the need to work alone, you know, because I see you freeing yourself from a lot of things. Energy around you. I don't know who this poor person is. It's who you're thinking of right now. This person is the eight of swords in reverse. Okay. So, this person has seen themselves like the victim for quite some time and whatever they're going through. And they've been a prisoner in their own mind. They've had a ton of negative thoughts about whatever's going on with them. They see themselves as having a pretty strong inner critic facing head on the beliefs they have about themselves that limit them. They're releasing negative thoughts and they're starting to open up to new perspectives. But the way they feel about you or whatever's going on judgment in reverse. This is the truth. This is an awakening. This is, we are free when we feel judgment. It's a big moment. It's where we're at a crossroads and we absolutely know what we want and we're able to walk through the door and not look back. And we usually have four choices. We can go back the way we came, or we have a couple choices in front of us where we leave the past behind. You know, we have the tower, we have the star, we have death. This person is working on transcendence because they're very close to it. One card after that's the world, but they kind of can't handle the truth. They're starting to open up and not be so trapped in fear, but whoever this is, they're not at that crossroads. They're ignoring the inner calling. They kind of can't leave the past behind. They haven't found that truth for themselves with you. And that's just how they feel. Their action towards you, nine of pentacles, well, they want to impress you, but they're also super single. This person cares about the pentacles. They care about money. They care about financial independence, career. They look pretty bougie. Um, they might kind of show off to you, but the nine of pentacles is I'm a good catch. 
good luck catching me. But there's something going down with this person with judgment in reverse and um, the eight of swords in reverse. So for right now, this person's releasing themselves from, from some stuff. I don't think they know where they're going. I noticed that, you know, this crossroads is in reverse and the chariots in the garage. You might not be able to move forward in a situation until you break out of all these fives, you know, and get them out of your life and off the table. But their action towards you is kind of weird. Nine of Pentacles, hey, I'm amazing. I'm a good catch. I'm doing well. I'm single. But the Tower and the Five of Cups. This person might have done a lot of work on themselves. They are going through a major disruption in their life. They are trying to tear everything down and rebuild. They are focused on kind of the negative and more than the positive. They're a little mopey. They're crying over spilled milk about something. It's almost like, why doesn't so-and-so see how amazing I am? I'm the tower and I'm willing to tear everything down and rebuild. So sometimes this can be a major communication. This person's going through a major shift in their life, but it's bringing them disappointment. I don't know what this person's going through or who this person is for you. This is just the energy closest to you right now in your vicinity that may impact your life. And just keep in mind, Libra, that they might be strategic with you or you might have to be strategic with them and be really strong and be the one with strength of character and be very bold in the situation because this person's having a hard time finding their truth and not feeling like the victim are all trapped in their head. But out the rest of this looks so good for you, Libra. I think that you guys are going to have a good week. I do notice that justice is in reverse. This is where we're learning lessons of independence. Don't play the blame game. Um, you might not get your justice in a situation. I think it's possible that some of you can't take a new point of view and have decided not to balance out a situation and move on to something new that works better for you, possibly. Yeah, you're no longer waiting for something. This is very about personal goals this week and learning lessons on how to bring balance into your life and um, a little bit more independence and um, balancing all aspects of your life. You may struggle with that this week. It's okay. You can get it into the upright. The, the clue is, see all the... The earth, air, fire, and water here on this card, focus on the pentacle. That will bring you back into balance, okay? Pentacles are money, things that manifest into the 3D, tangible evidence of things. The pentacle is the thing, Libra. All right, so that's the weekly tea. That's what your week is going to look like, Libra. I hope this helps you guys, and I hope it resonates as the week progresses. Book a private reading with me if you want to work with me personally. I hope you guys have an amazing week. I hope you guys had a great 4th of July. I'm always listening to the universe for you, Libra. Take care of yourselves. You know I love you guys. I'll see you next time.